वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टूडे आई एल बी गोइंग टू शो यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस यूजिंग डेल्टा टू स्टार कन्वर्जन सो लेट अस सी द प्रॉब्लम दैट आई एल सॉल्व स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो हियर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व वी हैव दिस इक्वल एंड सर्किट एंड दिस सर्किट is having terminal a and b over here and we are delivered to find equivalent resistance in between terminal a and b now whenever you have problem based on equivalent resistance calculation your first agenda that is to identify series and parallel combinations so here you see we have this resistance this resistance and this resistance in series so equivalent of this resistance that will be just algebraic sum so this resistance will be 2 plus 2 plus 3 so that is 7 ohm now you see here also we have 4 ohm and 2 ohm and 5 ohm in series so equivalent of this will be also algebraic sum so that is 4 plus 2 plus 5 means it will be 11 ohm now what i'll do is i'll redraw this circuit by replacing this as one resistor so now i'll replace this 3 as 7 ohm over here and i'll replace this three resistors as 11 ohm over here now let us see whether anything is there in series or parallel or not so here i don't see anything which is there in series and parallel right so now i need to go for star and delta conversion so here if you observe this connection that is forming delta right this is forming delta so all i can do is i can convert that into star for further simplification so for star conversion you see what i'm doing is i'm connecting star equivalent over here right and to calculate star equivalent resistance let us say i'm having r1 over here r2 over here and r3 over here so let us find the value of r1 first so when you want to calculate value of r1 from delta right then all you need to do is you will have to multiply adjacent resistors of r1 so that is 6 and 3 over here so i'm multiplying 6 into 3 divided by i need to add all three resistors so that is 6 plus 3 plus 6 so this is 18 divided by 15 now let us calculate that first so that is 1.2 ohm so let me mention that over here 1.2 ohm now let us find the value of r2 so r2 that is this and that is multiplication of adjacent resistors so these are 3 and 6 so 6 into 3 divided by addition of all three resistors so that is 6 into 3 into 6 so that is again 18 by 15 so that is 1.2 ohm as per this and as if you want to calculate value of r3 then the value of r3 that is this which is multiplication of adjacent resistor so that is 6 into 6 divided by addition of all resistor that is 6 plus 3 plus 6 so that is 36 divided by 15 now 18 multiplied by 2 that is 36 means 1.2 into 2 that is resultant of this that is 2.4 ohm so now we got the value of r1 r2 r3 i just need to replace this delta connection in terms of star connection so let me redraw this circuit first so now if you see here we have r1 that we have calculated which is 1.2 ohm we have r2 that is also 1.2 ohm and we have r3 that is 2.4 ohm so that is how i have replaced this delta into star right now you can see in this circuit we need to see for 
series and parallel connection. So if you observe, see this resistor is there in series with this resistor. So equivalent of this two that is 2 plus 1.2 means 3.2 ohm. Now if you observe this 11 ohm that is there in series with this resistor. So equivalent of this two that is 11 plus 1.2 so that is 12.2 ohm. And if you see this R3 that is there in series with this 5 ohm resistor. So equivalent of that is 5 plus 2.4. So let me redraw this circuit again which is having equivalent resistance of 3.2 then this will be 7.4 ohm and this will be 12.2. So now equivalent of this two that is 3.2 ohm let me place it over here equivalent of this two that is 7.4 ohm and equivalent of this R2 with 11 that is 12.2 ohm let me place it over here right. So now we got this equivalent circuit and in this equivalent circuit now we just have these two resistors which is there in parallel let us calculate this. So for parallel calculation this is 7.4 into 12.2 divided by 7.4 plus 12.2. So let us solve this in calculator first. So that is 4.606. Now this is there in series with 3.2 right. So R equivalent of this much network that is let us say r dash so that is 3.2 in series with r so that will be 7.8 now that 7.8 is there in parallel with 7 right so we can say that r a b that is 7.8 in parallel with 7 so that is 7.8 into 7 divided by 7.8 plus 7. So that is 3.689. So this is how we can identify equivalent resistance by using delta to star conversion. Right. So here there are few steps that you should note down. See first of all we should identify how many elements are there in series and parallel. Once you identify that, you just resolve that and place equivalent value of series and parallel. After that, if you don't have series and parallel connection, then you will have to identify star to delta or delta to star and that will gives you further connection which will be there in terms of series and parallel and that will resolve your further circuit and at last you can have equivalent resistance right so this is how one can follow basic steps to have equivalent resistance i hope you have understood this there are many more examples that i'll be going to place over here so you just practice along with me definitely you will be able to understand each and every concept in very much detail along with engineering funda family thank you so much for watching this video